for about a week just about right Not quite. <clears throat> we've been here since yesterday and uh, things are panning out quite well um, it's expensive it's really not like a backpacker uh, on the long haul type of place we're paying 25 US dollars for this little bungalow which is quite nice it's not bare bone but it's the cheapest thing we found uh, so it's very much fla flashbacker I'd say Guinea Air um, but we found um, a sprouted coconut, which is good. We had a nice fruit breakfast included, which was good. And we just found some durians, which is even better, and a pineapple and some bananas, uh, which are a little bit expensive. But I mean, yeah, we might do a bit of diving, snorkeling, and all that. After seeing uh, a video from our friend... Uh, Melanie and Toby from Empty World have been dying to try this. So this just was removed from the sprouted coconut. And I just read online, I was reading about it because I have no idea what the deal is with the sprouted coconut. And I just read online that everything is edible, so should I have a taste of this? There's no insect or anything. It smells like a root vegetable, it smells like a potato. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's really bitter. Mm -mm. No, not nice. So this nut for the eating. <laughs> I'm gonna actually plant this. <coughs> you think it's gonna work? Yeah, I, think so. I think so. It's a plant in and out of itself already. It's got roots and everything. I think it's ready to. And look, you can see how it bursts through because it goes through the eyes. It goes through one of the eyes. Oh yeah, oh so cool. Crack it open! <gasps> Whoa! How cool is this? Wow! So apparently you eat this with a spoon. It's quite a lot of meat as well if you want this. Oh, oh wow! Oop. Yeah, and there's some kind of coconut oil in there. How interesting. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. <laughs> it's like spongy a little bit. And it's like a little bit sweet and a little bit salty. It's a bit sour as well. It is nothing like coconut. Hmm. How very interesting.
We were just having a good time swimming with the turtle and then I got stung by a bloody jellyfish. In more than one place. But I've got vinegar all over myself now. <laughs> um, plus the salt water. Like salt and vinegar chips. Hi! Hello! What are you doing here? You nice little cow. How nice of you to pay a visit. Okay, bye! A creature went inside my backpack and ate my vanilla. We well, duct taped it. But it's too late. The damage is done. It's had a snack. And my backpack is full of animal crap. And I'm scared that there's a freaking mouse in there or something. So... Oh, look, there's a poop there. Uh, would you look for me? Would you empty it for me? There's nothing in there. It would be moving around from you fucking going in the bag. It would have gone mental by now. Oh, God. Just... Apart from getting my uh, vanilla bean stolen, someone has been stealing our little lump of hand soap every night. And every morning we find it with little chew marks in the corner of the staircase here. This is our bathroom. It's the third morning, and the soap is in the same freaking place that it's been. So it's been the last three days. The little bite marks all over it. This is stupid. <laughs> and this is my half of this sprouted coconut. It looks like a Vidalia onion. <laughs> Mm. Mm. It is very juicy. That my shit's good, people. So we're going for breakfast early this morning because Richard is going uh, for a dive. But I'm I'm staying home this morning because he's doing a deeper dive, and I have a bit of work to do. I'm gonna go diving this afternoon. Look for horses left and right.
I perfected my Mori eel face. You go. This is what a dollar gets you. Rice, tempeh, tofu, mixed vegetables, and some kind of little coconut stuff and peanuts and spicy. Sambal. It's really spicy. It's really spicy, apparently. Mm, looks delicious. It's her last day on Gilly Air. Very sad. But uh, we're going for a last dive. Whee!